If a UCS user has forgotten his password or wants to change his profile picture, he has to ask an administrator. But usually administrators have more important things to do. So we have developed the app Self-Service for UCS version 4.1. With this app, users can easily change their data and manage their password by themselves. So let's get started. First, we have to install the self-service app. To do this, we log in to the Univention Management Console, short UMC, and select Software and App Center. The Univention App Center contains different apps, which can be installed easily. We are now looking for the application self-service. We select it and click on Install. At the end, we confirm the procedure with Install App. If we now open the portal page of our UCS domain, we find a new card under Applications named Change Password. As mentioned at the beginning, self-service has several functions. One of them is Password Change. To change your password, you enter your username, your old password and your new password twice. At the end you can choose Change Password and the changes will be applied immediately. You can also change your password if you have forgotten it, but you should leave an external email address for this. The email address should be an external one, because you probably won't have access to your local address anymore. So you should make sure that your UCS domain has a mail server and a mail relay is configured for this function. We have linked a corresponding instruction in the video description. Thomas Meyer hasn't added an external mail address yet, but he can simply do it by himself. An administrator is not needed. This can be done under Protect Account. Here, Thomas enters his username and the current password. He selects Next, and then he can enter his external mail address. At the end, he saves it. Furthermore, the self-service supports SMS, meaning you can have tokens sent by SMS. With the help of the tokens, you create a new password. For this, you have to buy an additional external service. Explanations for this are linked in the video description. Let us assume that we have protected our user with a password as shown previously. This means we select password forgotten, enter the username and select next. Then we can select the recovery option. We keep it set to email and select next. We then see that the token was successfully sent. Now we check Thomas Meyer's mails and find that he has received the recovery mail immediately. If we click on this link, we get to a page where we can assign our new password, which we are going to do right now. We select Change Password and our password was successfully restored or reset. So far so good, but that's not all you can do with the self-service. You can also change your own profile data. To do so, you have to enter your username and password. And if you have entered it correctly, you can adjust your profile data here, as well as uploading your own photo, configuring your primary email address, entering your phone number, and many other things. In the end, you can save your changes. Furthermore, UCS self-service supports the configuration with different UCR variables. For this, we open the UMC. Click on System and select Univention Configuration Registry, short UCR and search for Self-Service. In the list we find the settings related to the self-service. Let's go through all of them according to the row. We ignore the self-service backend server as UCS sets it up automatically. It gives information about where exactly our backend server is running. Second, we have the self-service LDAP attributes. Here are listed the LDAP attributes which users are allowed to change themselves. The attributes are separated by commas. Next we have the self-service UDM attributes. This is a comma separated list of UDM attributes which a user is allowed to modify. Very important in this case, UDM stands for Univention Directory Manager. Finally, you can choose if the self-service should be accessible for all users. In our case it is. 
This was the video about UCS self-service. You can find more information and the UCS download on univention.com. Stay up to date and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials about UCS.